Welcome back everybody. Okay, this just in from the San Diego Comic Con panel regarding the Predator. Here's the new poster they just revealed and let's take a look at what the panel talked about. Fox unveiled additional footage from the Predator during its San Diego Comic Con 2018 panel, shining the spotlight on director Shane Black's scripted banter between the various human characters, as well as a brutal fight between a regular Predator and an upgraded version of the Alien Hunter. Several of the film's cast members were there to show the clips to the Hall H crowd at the event along with Black including Sterling K. Brown, Olivia Munn, Keegan-Michael Key, Jake Busey and Trevante Rhodes. Black and his actors started off the proceedings by answering questions and showing off a sizzle reel that included footage of the cast debating who the Predator could and could not defeat in battle. According to Black, the Predators are angry in the movie that they've sent at least two of their champion hunters to Earth and neither one of them made it back alive. This set the stage for the film's story, which sees the extraterrestrial race make their way back to our planet after a young boy, Wonders Jacob Tremblay, inadvertently sends a signal to them from his home in the suburbs. The first San Diego Comic Con clip for The Predator showed the film's soldier actor ensemble, Brown Key Busey Rhodes, delivering the familiar black style fast talk and humorous quips as they wake up Munn's character, who's passed out following an incident involving one of the Predators. Black later praised his cast for their willingness to go the extra mile to get his dialogue down pat, saying unlike casts from many other films, these guys were willing to come in and rehearse on the weekend. Fox also debuted a brand new poster for the film during the panel. We've just had a look at it. By comparison, the second Predator clip was all about Black's trademark R-rated violence, this time in the context of the Predator film universe. The clip was an extended version of a beat from the Predator Red Band trailer, where a regular Predator gets in a fight with a Super Predator that results in the former getting its head ripped off, its spine still attached, and the human characters driving away in a van, trying to wrap their brains around why the aliens are killing each other now. Black indicated there is an in-universe explanation for the upgraded Predator 2, saying that it has to do with the existence of different kinds of Predators on their home planet. All things considered, it sounds like the Predator's San Diego Comic Con panel did its job of making the film look like both a Shane Black movie and a sequel that's more interested in expanding the Predator lore rather than rebooting it. The film went through significant reshoots earlier this year, but even Black has admitted the Predator's original ending didn't work and has been improved by the additional photography. Combined with its San Diego Comic Con showing, it seems the tentpole is generating some needed positive buzz now, with less than two months left before it hits theaters. But that's not all folks, there's an interesting theory about the Super Predator as well. Will the new Ultimate Predator contain Arnold Schwarzenegger's DNA in The Predator? One thing's for certain, director Shane Black looks to be shaking up the franchise in this new entry. With this new team of outcasts, I won't read the names again, the director intends on mixing in some more humor than what was used in the earlier high-octane action thrillers. Another interesting addition to the story is the introduction of Jacob Tremblay playing the part of Boyd Holdbrook's son, an autistic child with the ability to easily learn languages. Black once again seems to be diverging from the typical action movie by using a young boy as one of the major characters to interact with the Predators. But it's the Predators themselves that are the biggest change in the upcoming movie. The Predator will feature more than one Yaucha causing trouble, and these are not the typical monsters that were shown in the other films. This time, according to the plot synopsis, the Predators are stronger, smarter, and deadlier than ever before, having genetically upgraded themselves with DNA from other species. The Predators are always looking for a way to gain an advantage over their prey and dominate the world where they are hunting. Which leads to a very interesting theory, that this new predator will contain DNA from Earth's mightiest predator slayer, Major Alan Dutch Schaefer. I oh, don't know about that. It's a fun theory, I like it, but when did they get Dutch's DNA? 
the predator he went up against died unless similar to predator 2 there were other predators secretly watching the hunt and decided to scoop up some blood that dutch happened to leave behind thinking yeah this is a worthy specimen we'll splice his dna into one of our hunters i guess it's possible so there you have it peoples what do you think how's the movie sounding and what do you make of this theory about the super predator leave your thoughts down below as always thanks for dropping by and for your continued support don't forget to like share sub and all of that good stuff and until next time see us.